Uh, hello, uh, today I'm going to show you a quick way how to properly bait your whole herring or sardines on a hook for sturgeon. So we have a barbless uh, 7 knot hook. You can use 5, 6, 7 knot depending what you're doing. Uh, and this is tied with an egg loop in case I'm uh, using salmon row um, on an 80 pound uh, 24 inch leader. Uh, so the easiest way that I have found to, because um, some people bait them and then their fish falls off or part of it stays on because they don't do it correctly. So the way I do it is I go through the back right here, just go in and then go through a hard part of their head. You can come out of their eye, you can really do whatever. So just come out of the top of their head here on a hard part and then you want to just half hitch it all the way down. So to make a little half hitch, just twist the line like that, put it over. And then the first one I like to put on the actual hook at the base. So the whole thing stays right where it's supposed to. And then just go down the fish. Uh, when you're doing this, sometimes you might want to use longer leaders too because you definitely take up some line uh, with doing the half hitches along the fish. And you still want a good, a good length leader. So you can do more or less. You can try to cover the hook more. Um, but the idea is that you hook it through the hard part of its head, uh, some on the back, because sturgeon usually go for the head first, and then just half hitches along the fish. So then it can, uh, the whole fish stays on there versus falling off. Uh, sometimes you can also clip off the tail in case there's strong current because then the fish will just spin in the water and, and twist all your line. But that's a really simple way uh, to, to hook a whole herring uh, or anchovy or small shad. It just depends uh, what you're going for. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe if you want to see more videos.